what's going on everybody thrift chasers here uh, so today is Friday uh, we had a small community garage sale in a town called Bellwood here in Nebraska uh, it's about maybe 15 minutes from where I live it was extremely hot today so I did not record it in the garage sales I didn't want the GoPro to overheat since they're known for that and then I just didn't want to go through the trouble of clipping it on my backpack and taking it off uh, I was sweating most of the time so it's just easier for me to run through the cells without videoing dealing with all that hassle however with that being said today I finally hit my holy grail so I'm not gonna make you guys wait we're gonna jump right into it and show you what I found so this is a motor for like a little hobby boat so it's a mercury mark 75 now when I stopped this was the first garage sale we stopped at and it was already 12 o'clock so we got out there late didn't have any anticipation on finding anything good today and then lo and behold I came across this oh mark 78 I'm sorry not 75 mark 78 I picked it up and looked at it didn't think too much of it so I set it back down and then I was like I might as well look it up and see what it's for it's got you know a positive negative the prop felt like it, it has really good tension on it um, so I Google lensed it and then to come to find out this model here is super rare so let me bring up eBay here so here's the exact one and his is in was in really rough condition he said his did not run so I hooked up a 9 volt battery to mine and prop spun no issues didn't sound like any binding or anything so it works perfect and his is rough non running rusty and this is what it sold for $550 non working so at first when I was looking I was looking at all these other comps and these are for different models and initially I just looked up what I found on Google and so most of them were the mark 55 so I was like seeing 457 280 and so forth and then as far as active listings there's only two one for $199.99 and one for $625 and neither of these are the one I have so the one that sold in his listing he stated that he has never found one in person so I'm leaning to believe that this specific one is pretty rare um, so I'm thinking what I'm gonna do since it is working and is in really good condition I'm gonna end up putting this one on a seven-day auction and put a starting bid at twelve hundred dollars just to see what's going to happen that's not guaranteed I'm gonna get that but I figured if he got 550 for a non-running rusty and it was missing some parts, I should at least get double for a working one. Everything's here. Um, the only thing that is wrong with it is it has these little mounts right here that it would mount to the back of the boat. One little piece on here is broke, but I would think you can replace that so I don't think it's that big of a deal otherwise it's it's complete and it works so this was my holy grail find number one super excited about this I can't wait to get it listed and see what it's going to do so stay tuned for that for a later video I will do an update on it once it sells what's going on everybody future thrift chaser here you don't have to wait for another video to see how much it sold for because the auction is over and it sold 
you would not believe. We had five bidders on it, and it went for $1,475. Was not a scammer. He had over 600 positive feedback, and he already left me a great review on the product. So it's a wrap. It sold a $5 fine at a garage sale out in the middle of nowhere. Went for $1,475. I was worried I wasn't going to get any bids on it. I posted it immediately. A guy put a bid on it and then didn't get anything. It got up to over 300 views. It had 58 plus watchers on it, I believe. And then as usual, like most stuff like that, uh, the last few minutes are when the um, other bids started coming in. Um, I'm super pleased with what it went for. Uh, it's unfortunate eBay takes their cut. They take 12.9%, so they took over $200 out of that. So you gotta keep in mind, it wasn't a full $1,475 profit. Uh, you got eBay fees, my time, uh, my gas out there and back, uh, shipping costs, but nonetheless, a $5 fine that I thought wasn't gonna be worth anything turned out to be my greatest fine so far this year. I cannot believe it. I hope we get more success the rest of the year. Uh, thanks for watching. And the rest of the video is just some updates on some other stuff that I bought and have listed. I was at a garage sale and I came across this vintage starter LA Dodgers jacket. Really nice, really clean, size extra large. Uh, nothing on the back but nonetheless really clean the only thing I see is that there and I think that'll come out I haven't really I've been eager to find some good stuff and it finally happened so I'm super thankful for that can't wait to get these listed and hopefully they sell quick and then let's just go through some of the other items I found not really big hitters but you know they'll sell so we got a pair of these really cool Kyries got these for five dollars a garage I didn't look these up so I'm not 100% sure what they go for um, I won't get top dollar because there is some scuffing and then on the corners there's some blemishes Nonetheless, really, really clean, really nice shoes. Um, worst case scenario, I just give them to my nephew. He's in ninth grade this year, and he does play basketball, so he does go through shoes quite quickly. So if I can't sell them, I'll just give them to him. This was an interesting find at a church. So it is a Tracy McGrady. jersey now it's like a, I, would, I would call it a, a warm-up jersey I guess I've never seen one before um, really clean couldn't find any comps on this specific style so maybe listed for like 25 or something like that I don't know we'll see what we get it's not made in USA so I mean I don't know if it's vintage, but I've never seen this style of a Trace McGrady jersey. So I thought that was a cool find. Like I said, I only paid a dollar for that. This one does have stains on it, but I'm pretty good at getting stains out. So this is a vintage single stitch. Old Milwaukee, like a fisherman. I'm not too familiar with my fish, so I'm not sure what he's catching there. And this one is vintage, made in USA. So hopefully I get these stains out, which more than likely I will. Oxyclean does a really good job if you soak them. So I picked that up for a quarter, not sure what it's worth. 
Um, usually most of my vintage shirts like this I list right around like the $25, $35 range depending if I search it and find it. Like I said, I didn't Google Lens or anything so I don't know if this specific one is listed so I still got to do some research on this one. So I got, I'm gonna try a stab at Funko Pops. I got Andre the Giant. When I looked him up, he wasn't going for crazy money. And then I also got Toy Story Woody on the little RC car. So she had 10 on one, 750. So I just asked if she'd take 15 for both and she said yes. Yeah. So got both of these for 15. Uh, if I remember correctly, this one was going for the, the 30 range. Let's take a peek real quick. Quite a few in different countries too. Brand new, $39.99. 30 24 so and scanning the barcode shows 20 results listed um, let's see we can do buy it now condition new 20 and then as far as solds go we got eight results not good percentage but I figured for 15, I'll see what I can do with them. Um, I'll probably list this Woody one for 25. And then Andre the Giant. I don't think he went for much, maybe 10 at the most. 1999. 25. 13. So I'll probably list it right around the $13 range. Um, see what I can get for him. I did go to another garage sale where he, he did have some other Funko Pops. Um, his were a little bit better. Some of the ones he had inside that he obviously knew he couldn't get garage sale prices for. Um, he is a reseller as well. I see him at some of the auctions we go to. Uh, really nice guy. He's a veteran as well. So him and I hit it off pretty good. And then we talked for a little bit. Um, I didn't want to insult him. He knows what they're worth. I know what they're worth. Um, he was willing to make a deal, but I just didn't think it was enough for me to get in it and make a decent profit and worrying about sitting on them for a while and having to pay up for them. Um, so we'll see how these two go. Maybe I'll kick myself in the rear later on for it. I don't know. Um, so it is what it is. So then the last... One of the last garage shells we went to, she was closing up. I got these starting lineups. I know these ones don't go for a whole lot of money, um, but there was three of them. So Mike Scott, Astros, Mike Schmidt, Phillies, which is my baseball team. They're doing relatively decent this year, finally. And then Gary Carter, for the New York Mets. So I got those three along with these. Same with these. I don't know if these go for big money, but they are vintage. There's four in each. So this stack has Mark McGuire, Santiago, Sabo, and Weiss. Weiss. Um, this one is 1989. This pack here, Kirby Puckett, Ruben Sierra, Ricky Henderson, Fred McGriff. This one's 1990. This one's got Robbie Thompson, Matt Williams, Mitchell and Clark, and Jose Irby. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Some of you baseball fans out there can correct me. And each of these have four pictures in there. And then... Jose Canseco, Walt Weiss, Dave Stewart, and Dennis Eckertsley. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I'm not good at pronouncing names. Forgive me. And I got all these four plus the starting lineups 
she wanted to get rid of them so she said just do six for all of them so i said deal see what i can do with them not big money but we'll see i uh, picked up some disc golf putters these will be for my own collection i do like to go play quite often went the other day and it was about 98 degrees i got through four baskets and i quit it was way too hot I got this at the first garage sale with the motor. This is a Wonder Wall tapestry and bedspread. It's got like a shroom theme. She's got written on there is 90 inches by 100 inches. And this was $1.50. I know mushroom theme stuff is pretty hot, or at least it was. Um, I sold some vintage mushroom bowls. I paid like $4 for them and I sold them for like 70, I think. So I figured I'd pick this up for $1.50 see how it goes these are vintage 90s pet stamps some cats um, same thing I'm probably like five dollars on these but my wife loves cats so usually when I see some weird stuff like this I'll pick it up for her and then her friend also is a cat fanatic so worst case scenario she'll either use them or send them to her some Chevy Silverado emblems these ones are plastic and then the big Chevy bow tie this one's metal and then the smaller one I got all four of these for $1.50 I'm not sure what the market is on these um, I do know people are always looking for stuff like this, so I figured might as well pick it up for $1.50, see what I can do on it. Let's see, and I, I think that might be it. Oh, I did get this. LeBron James Cavs jersey. Picked this one up for $25. The hardwood classics um couldn't find this exact one most of the ones that are like this are adidas this one is not um this is a mitchell and ness i couldn't find any exactly like this listed so i do have this one listed i believe for 80 and i paid 25 for it um there's watchers quite a few viewers on that one so we'll see what we can do on that and then I picked up a vintage LA Dodgers Christmas ornament, 1988. Um, this actually led me to getting that when I picked this up. She's like, oh, if you're interested, there is a Dodgers coat hanging up over there. And usually, I just assume they're probably newer or they're gonna want quite a bit. So when I overlooked at it, she had $10 on it and instantly I knew it was vintage starter. So I just picked it up for $10. Um, and then, like I said, searched it. Quite a few of them listed, sold right around the $200 range. So we'll see what we can do on that. And then another box of vintage ornaments. Didn't look these up, but they are from 2002 technically I guess it is vintage I guess people go by the 20 year mark I don't know I just try to stay up with the times what people are doing some people say 90s stuff is antique and it drives me crazy so that was our holy growl find for the garage sales today super excited I've been waiting um I haven't had a big score um since I first started when I picked up a Philadelphia Eagles starter jacket for I believe I paid like seven dollars for it and I sold it for 200 so it's nice to actually find some cheap grills that didn't even know so to my surprise um, I actually got really lucky because at first I wasn't even gonna pick up that motor and look at it or check it but something told me Google lends it and my gut paid off. So thanks to my gut for 
following through for once. Um, other than that, don't really have much more for you. Um, we'll have some other videos of garage sales. Uh, I went to uh, my friends that have a thrift store and a warehouse um, in a town called Skyler. Um, picked up a few things there. Did pick up a couple good items that are worth some pretty decent money. Um, not to say that's what I'm going to get for them, but that's what they're listed at. Um, so stay tuned. That'll be in a future video. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. All right, I got one last thing that I almost forgot about. I don't know much about them. Uh, I could see a date on them. They're 1989. Um, they're these little hockey figurines. Um, and the jersey on them says Stars. So these little guys so I got a whole bucket full of them got them all for a dollar I know nothing about them uh, a lot of them you know they all have these stands like that and the stands interlock so I'm not sure if these were are like just display or if it went to like a game because it has a little like a little puck too Oops. stars on it and then it had these little these guys in here um, couldn't find any date on these so these definitely look a lot older so and they got two goalies I don't know if you guys will be able to make that out because this doesn't focus. Yeah, made in China, 1989. So I'm not sure what these went to. I mean, it even has little goalie nets. Um, this is what's on the under of the base. It says KST China 1989. Yeah, I'm probably not going to be able to make that out. So, try to do some research on these, see if I can come up with anything. Uh, if you guys know what these went to, or if they're just like display things, uh, leave a comment below and let us know. It'd be interesting to find out what they're for, or if they're even worth anything, but I figured for a dollar take a shot on them see what see what they go for or if they're even worth anything if not then just put them in a bucket for a garage sale that i'll end up having and this should be the last thanks for watching everybody